Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new here and welcome to a beauty with a purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So for today, we have a lifestyle video and this is going to be my gym workout routine that I do for weight loss and strengthening. And first thing we're going to start out with are my back workouts. workout we started out with were lateral like lat pull down so the back part kind of like the sides of your back and I did two different versions here so that way you guys could see the different kinds that you could do you could do the ones where you kind of lean back and pull towards your chest or you can do it to where you pull it behind your head and one thing I forgot to mention in my at home workout you guys is that I do 35 or 30 to 45 second rest in between set in between sets so I'm not just working out all the way straight through. I do take rest in between my sets and I do um, three sets of 15 to 20 reps. So of course, obviously to keep my heart rate up, especially at the gym because we are there for two hours and I can tend to lollygag and my heart rate will kind of drop. I will go ahead and do jump, rump, jump roping for 45 seconds to a minute. You can tell by my jump roping skills in this video that this was filmed a few weeks ago. I'm much better at jump roping now. On the same machine, I'm actually going to use the diff a different part and we are going to do back rows. And watching this video I'm so proud of myself because around this time I was not seeing a change on the scale but as you can see I'm getting really good definition in my muscles around my arms and my back area again another cardio break because I'm pretty sure what I edited out was me going and talking to Brian and playing around about something but we are still on back workouts so after the back workout I am gonna go ahead and go into kind of like I really don't know what these are called, but they kind of remind me of bent rows with dumbbells, only it's this specific machine. So if you don't have this machine at your gym, I would kind of just do bent rows and I would kind of do it your, with your wrist turned in towards you and keep a wide grip and pull up if you don't happen to have this machine. All right, and now we are going to get into some leg workouts. I love hate doing legs. Like it is definitely a love-hate relationship with leg day. I love it because it's so easy to get definition really fast, but your legs are the worst thing to have sore. So we're just starting here with the barbell squats. And as you see here, I have two tens, and then I will later on add more weight. And when I'm at the gym, that is something I focus on the most is strengthening because I have the options there for the weight. So as you see now, I have 15 on each side. And then the next week after this week, I ended up adding um, 20 on each side. And now this current week that I'm on that I'm recording this voiceover, I have added 25 to each side. So I really like to use the gym for my strengthening portion of my fitness journey I guess you could say because I have the option there with the weights to either do just strengthening or I can do weight loss which is toning which is lightweight and a lot of reps but usually at the gym I am constantly going up in my weight and now we are going to go ahead and get into a cardio break I know it's crazy to jump rope in between my leg workouts maybe that's why my legs don't get as sore as they used to because I'm constantly working them out so now here we are going to do these leg extensions. These 245s that you see in the frame have nothing to do with what I'm actually lifting. What I actually have on there is a 25 pound and then I did up it and add 5 pounds and made it 30 pounds. Alright you guys, so these right here are probably my least favorite workout. These are basically hamstring curls, so kind of like a bicep curl but for your hamstrings. Hamstrings, hamstrings, what are they called? But yeah, and I did 25 pounds on these. That's the max that I can do on these. And then from there, we're gonna go into a little bit of a cardio break again. And then from there, we are going into our bicep workouts. And to me, it's so crazy how different positions can target different areas of the muscle to really help you get defined. 
So here we're going to do these single arm bicep curls and we're just gonna let the arm hang kind of in between our legs and then lift up from there. But make sure you are controlling the weight the entire time. You're not gonna get much um, results if you are just allowing the weight to fall around all willy nilly. You want to have as much control as possible because that's what's really going to work out that muscle is controlling the way it comes up and the way it goes down. That activating that muscle to control the outcome of what the weight is doing. you guys so from there we are going in with these hammer curls but we are doing them on the cables with these ropes that can kind of pull apart they give you a little bit of slack but as you can see you guys I do go up and wait always challenge yourself to go up into the next weight so if you're on let's say doing 10 pounds and you're getting to 20 reps really easy go up to 15 pounds and max out on reps on that and just keep doing that and that's how it is going to be able to tone at the same time as building your muscle and now as you guys can see we we are going into our tricep workout now watching this is what really ex excites me as you can see we are doing tricep extensions our overhead tricep extensions with the same rope and you guys I am someone who has had really chubby arms basically my entire life and to be able to see this and see the definition that's coming in I'm so happy that I can share this with you guys because it's been a long journey you're not going to see results at overnight I've been doing I've been working out consistently for a year and I am barely starting to see my muscles actually come through and actually be cut but as you can see right here we are actually doing tricep pull downs on the machine and these ones burn these I have to do such a light weight on these ones it is insane but again flex that muscle to pull down don't just use your forearms flex the tricep to activate that motion down and a cardio break of course all right you guys heading in with the chest workouts I love me a good chest workout like I said I love chest because I feel like it really helps with the weight loss in the face area type of look and so right here we're just starting out with some dumbbell chest press and I th believe I started off with 20 pounds and then I go up to 25 pounds because like I said you guys um, it's just really it, you really got to challenge yourself if you're wanting to see results you have to push yourself to the limits you have to try to do what you think you are not capable of if that makes any sense at all so yeah I went up in weights and we're just pushing that um, we're activating our chest muscles to start the push off and then you'll feel your triceps get activated as well so after the what are those called chest press we are going into some chest flies again we're initially activating the chest muscles in order to bring those in words and also you kind of want a bend in your elbow you don't want it to be completely straight a very very slight bend in the elbow with these guys heading on over to ab workouts and the things that I love about these two that I'm about to show you here is that you can do them at home even if you don't have dumbbells you better grab that bottle of detergent but the first thing we're going to do is leg lifts and I started out with double like raising and lift lowering and raising my like two legs and then my hips started popping weird so I went to one leg at a time and then like just alternated back and forth between one leg two legs and yeah I don't know I like these ones because when I'm in a crunch I like to do leg lifts because if you crunch your head up while you're doing the leg lifts that's like a whole ad abdominal workout and then I'll throw these standing side crunching crunches in right here for them little love handles them obliques let's get it in but yeah this is one of my favorite workouts and this is literally the only workout where I do not rest in between because I feel like one side's resting while you're doing the other one so I don't rest weird I know but you 
guys, going into our cardio slash shoulder workout to wrap this up. And I say it's cardio plus shoulders because if you have never done the ropes, these heavy, like 13,000 pound ropes, you, you would understand. I mean, you're working out your legs because you're squatting. You're working out your shoulders because of the motion of your um, arm. And like, since you're incorporating your entire body with this, it's, it's cardio. But yeah, me and Brian just take turns. He does it for 45 seconds at a time. I do it for 30 seconds at a time. And then our rest period is just however long the other one is doing the ropes for. But yeah, you guys, that is what we do to wrap up our workouts um, on days where we didn't get to get cardio in or do shoulders. Remember, you guys, go at your own pace. Remember, light weight, a lot of reps if you just want to tone and lose weight. Heavy weight, light reps, which means very little reps if you're trying to strengthen. I love the gym because you can do both at the gym. At home, I lean more towards light weight, a lot of reps because of what I have. But I love you guys. Always remember that just always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.